So we're in the gaming room again, and I've got another very flat, very square parcel with Fragile written on it. It can only mean one thing, it's more gaming vinyl. Hello again, everybody. I am Dominoid, and this is a record that we have in here. Let's open this up. Oh, look at that. That's lovely. Thank you for shopping with us. And inside, we have got this lovely little section. And this. Oh, look, I've got a sticker, another sticker. So we know it's a data disc release because I love data discs. Got quite a few of their records. And here we are, look at this. Sonic CD. And this is original music uh, by Naofumi Hataya and Masafumi Agata. Uh, absolutely fantastic soundtrack to this game. I really, really enjoyed it. And you've got the present music, you've got the good future and the bad future and the past music. Um, this is a two-disc set, I think. My, no, it's three discs, actually. This is one of the biggest ones that I've got, then. Uh, so this is... I see, yeah, so... Oh, uh, right, yeah, of course. Right, so present is sides A and B, so that's the entire first disc. Then the second disc... Uh, you have got the good future on the first side, the past on the second side. And then you've got the bad future on one side. Hang on, there's only five sides listed. Intriguing. Let's have a look. Let's open it up and have a look then. I don't know if that just simply means that side E constitutes both sides of one disc, but then if that was the case, why would they split up present into A and B? I'm intrigued. Is one of them single-sided then? Well, we've got the, the shrink wrap off, and it's a really weighty package. Uh, so it's 180 gram vinyl, so it's very good quality vinyl that we've got here. Um, we've got this really nice, shiny, sort of embossed cover. With the, uh, the the old green on green checkerboard. And then let's have a look what we've got inside. So I've got a download code card here. Um, I don't know why I bother hiding the download code on things when I show them off on unboxings, because by the time I've uploaded this, I'm going to have already claimed that. Um, there's our cover. Oh, hello. Oh, look at that. We've got, we've got some, uh, we've got a message from, um, from Hataya san himself. Uh, so as we prepare for the release of Sonic CD on vinyl, it is interesting for me to look back and remember the original production. We had previously been working on sound for Sega's Mega Drive console, which had two internal chips for the music and sound effects. These allowed us to handle six FM channels and the ability to switch to one PCM channel. Uh, it had three PSG channels and one noise channel. However, Sonic CD was developed for the new Mega CD home console instead, which had digital compact disc audio capabilities. This gave us much greater possibilities for the sound production. For this reason, Sega started investing much more in music creation with the intention of making more realistic, high-quality music. To achieve this, Sega partnered with one of the most prominent music production companies in Japan at the time. The company helped with the creation and recording of the songs. I remember we had so much fun recording them. 
All of the music and other sounds were done in a pre-production room owned by the music production company, and it was exciting to see these real professionals at work. It was a great opportunity for us to learn about their processes, and as a result of this, we were able to create great quality sounds. But this was one of Sega's biggest games, and the path was not easy. Um, he goes on to uh, to explain how uh, Naoti Oshima was a very strict director, wanted each piece to have a solid concept. Um, there was a lot of redos. Um, uh, he re-examined uh, his whole approach and redid a lot. So Sonic was featured on the covers of magazines and fashion. Uh, seen on slip nuts used by DJs in some clubs. Uh, so he wanted to you take inspiration from house and techno music. Uh, of course, the music had to stay relevant to the game. So one of the key phrases we always used for Sonic CD was time warp. So you change the past, you can change the future. And in the game, you must change the future. The future is either ruled by Dr. Robotnik and his machines or free from invasion and plenty of nature left on Earth. So based on this kind of concept, it was easy to incorporate some motifs from club music. So yeah, so we've got the, the cover here. Uh, and then on the back, we've got a lovely message from uh, Hataya san himself um, explaining how the production was. Uh, it was the first, uh, first soundtrack he'd worked on for the Mega CD. Uh, obviously, that meant as he says in here, that you couldn't hide behind technical limitations. It had to be perfect. Uh, their director was very strict and wanted everything to be just so, so they, they had to redo their work a lot. Um, a lot of inspiration from techno and house music, and this was because they'd seen Sonic was used on the slip mats of some DJs at the time. So, uh, yeah, a really nice little story on there. Then we've got... Uh, what looks like some concept art here. We've got Robotnik and some of his creations. And then on the back, looks like this might be actually some initial sketches for Metal Sonic. So that's really cool. And and seeing the uh, seeing the, the full up 3D renders of some of the characters there is absolutely lovely. And then you've got just that. Classic, iconic image there. Oh, and look at this on the back. Oh, that lovely intro cartoon. It's so good. I really like it. And there's a lot of the frames from that on there. That, yeah, it's it's these little things that make data disc releases so nice. Because they really, really put effort into it. Um, you say, oh, look at that. Look, there's some, if you can see that there. Um, be a bit difficult to show this on camera but yeah inside there's all the chaos emeralds that's a nice touch that's a bit of the packaging that you would never normally expect to have anything printed on there's more scenes there on the back from that animation and yeah sonic facing off with metal sonic that is lovely so let's have a look at the discs themselves so we've got as I say, three discs. Um, so there's Bad Future E. That doesn't have anything listed on it, so I'm wondering if that's a blank side. Then we've got uh, side D, side C. So what's it? Side D is the past. Side C is good future. And then sides A and B, you have got the present on both of these. So let's... Carefully take the vinyl itself out. Oh, look at that. That is just a work of art. Look at these. I absolutely love that splatter effect that they do on the special editions. They did a very similar thing uh, for Sonic Mania. If you've seen my review of that, you'll have seen that that comes in the, uh, the yellows and oranges and blues of that game. As this one comes in the greens and blues of Sonic CD. Let's have a look. Are the other discs any different? Of course, they are different because that splatter effect is, of course, unique. It looks very peacocky the way that it's come out. And it's on clear vinyl as well. So you can see through it. You hold it up to the light. It's super shiny and really lovely. I'm trying to do my hardest not to actually touch any part of the record or end up damaging it because of course this is the first time I've opened the boxes so uh, I haven't actually uh, haven't actually listened to these yet so I don't want to listen to them with scratches on 
So let's have a look. Oh, this last one is different. This is, oh, oh, that's lovely. Look at that. It's a cool little translucent blue. And there is, yeah, as it as as expected, this side has no grooves on it at all. It's just, oh, wow. Oh, I've only just noticed that what it does have on it is if I hold it up to the light in just the right way, it's got an embossed image on it. I think I need to hold it right up to the light for it to be visible. Just about see that there. Yeah, oh, let's get it. There, yeah, look at that. That's a really nice little touch. So presumably there wasn't enough music to warrant putting it on six sides of vinyl, but there was too much music to cram it all in to four sides. So that's quite an expensive way of doing it, to, to not use an entire side of vinyl. They could have fitted it, they could have squeezed it maybe a bit more potentially and fit it onto four sides by doing things like putting the grooves closer together, but that, of course, does reduce the sound quality. So instead of doing that, they've just put it on five sides of vinyl. Um, and that's that's a great thing. That, that shows that they are committed to producing it as a quality release, and it's all about the sound. And uh, talking of the sound, uh, let's have a listen to some of this.
absolutely beautiful. Really, really great. Really pleased with these. Uh, thank you very much to Data Discs for sending me this. Uh, this is not a sponsored video. I paid my own money for this. I pre-ordered it ages ago and uh, forgot I'd pre-ordered it until I got a dispatch email. So that was nice. It was a lovely little surprise record. Uh, I'm really pleased with that. That is going to go pride of place. I think that overtakes Sonic Mania as my favourite of their releases. They put so much work into it. If you haven't already, do check out their website. And of course, do check out the other videos on this channel for more gaming merchandise, more videos about retro gaming and some other videos of me just generally asking about in here. Thank you very much then for watching. I've been Dominoid and this has been Sonic CD on vinyl. It sounds strange now I say it out loud. But anyway, if you're not already, I would really appreciate it if you'd consider clicking the subscribe button and the bell. I know notifications are annoying, but notifications of cool new videos that you can watch, sometimes they're not as annoying. So just think about it. No pressure. If you don't want to, you don't want to. That's fine. Won't hold it against you. But I'd really love it if you thought about doing it, maybe, perhaps. Anyway, I've been waffling on for a little while. Thank you very much. And I will see you again very soon. <laughs>